While we have talked about video game composers with seemingly a natural talent for composition, today I wanted to talk about a composer who has the most dedicated worth ethic I have seen in the industry. This man's name is Yatsunori Mitsuda, and he is most known for his work on the Chrono and Xeno series. This man is so dedicated to his work that he went to the hospital multiple times within his career as a composer for simply overworking. Over the last few years, he has taken the opportunity to focus more on his health, and since then I feel that his compositions have only improved. That being said, here are 10 of my personal favorite Yatsunori Mitsuda compositions. Number 10. I've only vaguely tried out Edge of Eternity, which itself is a perfectly fine old JRPG. However, the main reason for me being interested in this title in the first place was strictly because of Mitsuda's compositions for this game. This specific piece was a hidden gem that I found while studying one night. I was listening to a YouTube video game playlist, and Battle of Eternity struck me out of nowhere. It was one of the few times where a piece of music got me to actually play the game itself. And while I didn't necessarily get hooked on the game, I was happy that it existed just so I would have the pleasure of listening to this hidden gem. I have to be honest and admit that I haven't played Shadow Hearts 2, but its soundtrack is something I'm well aware of. In fact, I've listened to a lot of specific songs within the soundtrack quite a number of times, and I love its unique and otherworldly sound. Mitsuda definitely did something very unique with this soundtrack, using a lot of Arabian scales and really odd time signatures. This piece stands out to me very much due to its unpredictable nature. There are even times where I still can't predict certain moments of this piece, but I don't mean that in a bad way. It just goes to show how a piece of music can still surprise you with certain elements years later. And it's one of the most unique pieces that I've ever heard in any of Mitsuda's soundtracks. Number 8. Undersea Palace from Chrono Trigger It wouldn't be a top 10 Mitsuda list without any Chrono Trigger pieces now, would it? While the entirety of Chrono Trigger's soundtrack is fantastic, this track holds a special place in my heart. While most RPGs during the 16-bit era would have an area theme and a battle theme that interrupts you when a random battle occurs, Undersea Palace really stands out because it's one of the few area themes that prevails through battles. It counts as not only an area theme, but for the battle theme for the palace as well. This gives the area a sense of cohesion that didn't exist in a lot of RPGs during the time. Now one complaint might be that this theme would be grating to listen to over a long period of time, but Mitsuda made an effort to make sure that almost every track in the game would last more than a minute and a half to prevent the player from getting fatigued at listening to the same song on loop. This makes this theme especially memorable, and it's one of the more impacting songs within the world of Chrono Trigger. Number 7. Valkyra Azure Revolution's Main Theme Valkyria Azure Revolution is a unique title for the PS4 that I don't feel has gotten a lot of attention recently. Its soundtrack is absolutely stunning and epic and it is especially special to Masuda because it was his first solo soundtrack in over 7 years. The main theme for the game is extremely unique compared to other recent JRPG titles in the modern era. Mitsuda's goal for the soundtrack was to express the game's worldview through the music, and I think that that was a masterful achievement on his part. The theme surprisingly is supposed to be a positive song that revolved around the idea of death, and this can be demonstrated by the dark feeling in the singer's voice. My only complaint is that I wish the song was a bit longer, but I think that wanting to hear more of the song is only a testament to how good the composition work actually is. Number 6. Awakening from Xenogears
At the moment, I'm playing through the SNES classic Terranigma, but I'm definitely going to have to play through Xenogears again sometime this year. If there's one thing I miss about this game, is its phenomenal soundtrack. Awakening is one of Misuda's most anxiety-filled battle themes I've ever heard. It's not a theme that I would say is necessarily easy to hum to, but the way that the song is structured is memorable regardless. I really believe that it's one of those songs that really fits within the context of its narrative, and it really gives it a unique sound. If there is one thing Mitsuda is not afraid of, it's trying to dabble into weird sounds sometimes, and in this case, I think it worked beautifully. Number 5, Becoming the Fire from Final Fantasy XV. If there's one way I can describe this piece, it's intensely emotional. From the way it starts off with its epic choir to the different phases as the battle between our main villain becomes more intense. Becoming the Fire is an extremely emotional song that captures the energy of our best boy Ignis. You guys know that I love when boss themes have multiple phases, and in this case, each phase builds upon a particular daunting and dreadful atmosphere while still giving you a sense of hope and triumph when we hear the Liet motif for Ignis's theme. Number 4, One Who Bears Fangs at God from Xenogears. I know that this song is known to be memorable among most fans of Xenogears, and who can blame them? I'm trying my best not to spoil this part of the game for a lot of you, so instead of telling you when this song plays in the game, I'll just describe aspects of the song that makes me absolutely adore it. From the moment this song starts to play, you can immediately feel a sense of wonder, mystery, and dread. In a way, it feels like a darker quarter of time in terms of tone, and that is something that has always appeared to me. Quarters of time has always been Mitsuda's defining work to a lot of people, and while Chrono Trigger is definitely a legendary soundtrack, I can't deny that I feel that Xenogears is one of the most overlooked soundtracks that Mitsuda has written for. It has a lot of dedicated fans, but it's an RPG that is not remembered as fondly as Chrono Trigger, and unfortunately a lot of people never get to experience the song for the first time. I would highly encourage playing Xenogears for its soundtrack alone, and I personally think that One Who Bears Fangs at God is the best piece on the soundtrack. Number 3 Ignis' theme from Final Fantasy XV. The thing that amazes me about Ignis' theme from Final Fantasy XV is that it's a song that fits beautifully within the game's world, despite most of the soundtrack being written by the great Yoko Shimomura. However, while it does feel like it fits within the rest of Final Fantasy XV's soundtrack, Mitsuda did a fantastic job by still leaving his stamp all over episode Ignis. The best part about Ignis' theme is that it does a phenomenal job at bringing underlying characteristics of the character that weren't really discussed before. Mitsuna wanted to demonstrate this with a violin solo, which is meant to represent Ignis' feelings that he's hiding behind the intense determination he has to protecting his brother. I personally felt that most composers wouldn't have taken this risk, and this was a brilliant choice on his part, as it captures Ignis' sense of duty, elegance of his work, and his tenacious determination to support his brother, no matter the cost.
Number two, Time Scar from Chrono Cross. I think the reason this piece is so high on the list was simply because of how the music was able to command my attention with its change of pace after its opening. There are also many live renditions of this piece that still captivate me to this day, and I think that it's because the song itself tells an entire story. Even without the beautiful visuals with Chrono Cross's opening sequence, I feel that the song transitions from telling a bedtime story to taking an epic quest with lots of twists and turns, until it finally ends on an extremely high note. No pun intended. <laughs> this is seriously one of those songs where if you ask me to show you a piece of music from a video game that I think is a masterpiece of the genre, this would be one of those songs. Number 1. To Far Away Times from Chrono Trigger. I was really torn between Time Scar and To Far Away Times as my number one pick. It really came down to this piece because it was a perfect way to end this title. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but Chrono Trigger is my favorite video game of all time. I'm going to try my best not to gush over the game itself in this video, but it would be impossible for me not to absolutely gush about this song. From the opening few notes of this piece to its slow ending, Too Far Away Times is the perfect ending piece that I've ever heard for a video game. It not only reminds you of the journey you had and all the people you had impacted, but it also does a great job at being unique from the rest of the soundtrack. Mitsude does use light milieu motif at the end of the song, and it does a great job at bringing the player back to where it all began. If you listen closely, you can even hear a clock ticking just like the title screen of the game. I'm glad Mitsuda was able to write this piece in time. If you guys didn't know, the soundtrack itself took a toll on Mitsuda's physical and mental health to the point where he developed stomach ulcers. There were even times where he would stay up for 4 days straight and sleep in his office overnight just to continue his work on the soundtrack. This song was one of the last pieces he wrote before he was sent to the hospital, and yet, even though it was created during his time of burnout for Mitsuda, I still feel his passion and motivation every time I hear this song. I think this is what I love most about Mitsuda. He is someone that doesn't get away on his natural talent alone. He is an artist that shows that with enough skill and dedication, anyone has the ability to create something amazing. What makes doing these top 10s so hard for me to do at times is that while I can describe music in many different ways, there is no real way to let you know how music makes me feel. However. Anytime I hear Mitsuda's work, I can tell you that I easily hear his passion and dedication within any of his compositions. If you haven't heard any of Mitsuda's work up until this point, I invite you to listen to these 10 songs. I'm certain that you will learn about the person he is just by experiencing the unique sound of his work. Mm -hmm. 